Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a different kind of video here. Um, on this one, we're going to do a just kind of one take with the GoPro of rebuilding this caliper here. Um, I've already disassembled it and removed the uh, old seals. It's not real hard. You just basically need to get the fluid out. Then I used uh, compressed air to push the pistons out. Um, be careful doing that. They can shoot out, so you may want to put some cloth in between them in case uh, one of them hits the other one so you don't dip the end of it. Um, I've got all new seals from Yamaha here, so go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the bigger ones here. So we've got two thinner seals that have a groove in the inside right there. You can see that there. Then we've got these two thicker seals in a separate bag, and there's also some lubricant here. So I'll go ahead and put these seals in first. It's pretty straightforward. Um, of course, these are the bigger ones. You can tell because they don't have the tin on the part number. Um, because the pit, the um, pistons aren't the same size, two of them are smaller than the other two. So the easiest way I've found of putting these in is start on the side away from the kind of caliper bracket. Um, and then I push it, um, hopefully you can see that, probably not. I push it down in there with my finger into the back groove. And of course you want to do the back one first. Then I just work the front one down in until it pops in like that. And hopefully you can see it in there now. There we go, right there. So now I'll go ahead and install the next seal, which is going to be this thinner one here. And it goes in this outside groove, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. You want to make sure it doesn't twist. That's going to be the important thing here. There it is. So that side's in. Make sure it's not twisted. It's not. Now I'll go ahead and go to the other side here. There it is, just like that. Now I'll go ahead and do this front one here. Exactly the same way, I'm just getting it into that groove on one side. Then I'll use my finger to hold it into the groove and then work it around from that one point. Okay, so we've got both of those in. So now I'll go ahead and do the uh, other ones, the smaller ones. Okay, and these are going to be exactly the same way as the bigger ones. We're just going to start on one side, getting it down in that groove. The small ones are a bit harder, just because they're smaller, I guess. There it goes. All right, we got it in there. Now I'll do that double lips, um, double seal, whatever it is, the same way. And there it is. And make sure again that it does, it's not turned or anything like that. There we go. One more. Oh, finally had one turn here. Uh, if that happens, you want to very carefully get it back out. You may have to use a pick or something like that, but do not poke a hole in it. There we are, got it that time. It's always the last one, I want to do that to you. Go ahead and open the lubricant here. They give you uh, quite a bit extra. I don't think it takes all this personally. So I'll go ahead and just lubricate, kind of pushing it down into those seals in there. Okay. So then once you get the um, grease put in there, it's time to go ahead and install the pistons themselves next. I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this grease just a bit here on the outside. That way uh, dust doesn't stick to it. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, start with this small piston here. And these are pretty easy. You just kind of get them straight and they'll want to rock back and forth. And you just push them in just like that. So hopefully you can see that there. Just like that. Big one, same kind of thing. It's going to try to rock back and forth around, just get it centered, then it'll go right in, just like that one. And then one more right here. Okay. And that caliper is rebuilt and ready to go.